kind of a tough, tough topic for me right now. Um, you know, you guys have been watching me for, for years. You, a lot of you have come from, um, a lot of you have come, you know, to watch me and my journey, you know, due to, due to sports, due to football, um, in the good old Odell Beckham's cousin days, you know, when I was labeled as that and such. Um, and man, it's, it's just, it's tough to come to a realization of, you know, your dreams. You know, I come from a family of dreamers. My mother, uh, even in her 60s, you know, still pursues her music career. She still pursues a, a career in being a singer. And um, my father saying he was a DJ and he still tries to put on events. He wants to be, you know, an inter, you know, put on entertainment business for jazz music, events and things. And, you know, I come from a family of dreamers, from a family, you know, of, of, of people who love music, of people who love, um, who, who love, you know, spotlight, you know, who love to, to do things. And even in the absence of, of what we've desired, um, you know, we, we still, we, there's still, you know, ounces of hope um, that we all carry. And for, for me, you know, being 30 now, um, it took me a while to really, you know, like get my mental right um, to make this video and to, to talk about it. You know, I, I, everybody kept asking me what's going on with ball, what are you doing, rugby, football. And uh, honestly, it's, you know, you know, I, I thought about being out here and playing for, you know, maybe the rugby team one more time. And after the XFL tryouts and not getting a call back, um, I just, you know, it's, I'm, I'm just, I'm just done, you know. Um, trying, pursuing sports has held me back um, from greater things, you know. More motivation for you guys. Um, God damn, that damn freaking mosquitoes. Um, so pursuing sports has kept held me from you know expanding in my career, uh, doing the things that I should have done a long time ago, um, and it's too much of a headache and not enough given back to me to deal with. You know, um, there's a lot of sacrifice that comes with you know going for your dreams, but there comes a time where it's time to pursue something else and. You know, I have a lot of dreams. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big dreamer. Um, I aspire to do, you know, a lot of things. So, um, at th this time now, I just feel like pursuing, you know, sports, a sports career, football is just done in vain. Um, you know, even though I've inspired many to continue on and and do, you know, continue on even past the years of playing sports or whatever, to Basically, I mean, to, to, to still, you know, keep that dream and keep keep going for it until you just kind of know when to stop. Um, you know, I, I feel like that's been a blessing, um, especially for even younger people. Um, and a message to the younger people is just like, if you're really trying to make it, man, like, don't stop. Like, continue to really push for it. Um, I think that's one thing that that was a fail for me. Um, and I, I know, understand, you know, like COVID came through and I was, I was doing things behind the scenes to try to make it um, right before COVID and during COVID and COVID hit. And that just kind of took those two years of, of me making something happen, you know, away from my life. Um, so uh, that's, you know, that's the, that's the kind of gist of the day. Um, but yeah, man, you know, just, you know, keep dreaming. Um, you know, I'm here to continually inspire people. Um, you know, I'm an older guy. Uh, now nah, I'm not old, but I'm an older guy. You know, majority of the, I'm 90% sure, I'm 95% sure I'm older than majority of people that go to this gym, uh, <laughs> Alpha Land. And you know, I, I I tried all the way up until 30. You know, I can say to myself that hey, you know, I gave it. You know, I, I tried the best I can and, and did what I could. Damn, this light is getting bright as hell. I tried the best that I can and did what I could. Um, and, you know, I'm okay with shifting out of playing sports. And I know that's hard for a lot of people. Uh, I've already cried about it. You know, I've already just, you know, let it all out. And uh, for anybody who's ever felt the same way, you know, I feel you, you know. I tried, I wanted to be that 
that light of hope for a lot of people. Um, and I, you know, I, I hope that I still am for some, but I know that there comes a time where it's just, you know, that time is over, that time is up. And, you know, what I can do now is continue to motivate through fitness, continue to help those who are in the same position to, you know, still keep their life correct and in order, still stay in the gym, still um, motivate through fitness and um, whatever else I can do. You know, I'm finally starting my own brand, um, 2023, uh, me and my best friend. Um, you know, we're finally starting a brand that I can, you know, I, I feel like um, would be the next, my next baby, my next dream is to just, you know, really blow that thing up. And, uh, and of course, with you guys' support, that would be awesome whenever that drops. Um, um, so more info about that, you know, later. But, um, you know, it's just about finding, you know, comfort in something else. And I still, even, you know, it, what, what's crazy is even at 30, like right now, Damn, bro, this sun is beaming me, bro. Honestly, I feel super strong and athletic. Like, the most, the, the best I've felt in years right now. And that's what bugs me. It's like, it, it, I, I told you, like, it doesn't bother me, but it, it still bugs me because I still have so much, you know, ability left in me to the point to where it's just hard for, it's still kind of like something back there hard for me to, just like shut the door because I feel like I should still be dealing with something that can use all of my ability. That's why for a long time people have been trying to get me just to go straight powerlifting. I would kill it and blah, blah, blah. Powerlifting, lifting weights, like I understand the level of lifting weights and I understand I'm not at the toppest level of you know powerlifting um, when it comes to lifting weights. But lifting weights is easy. It's a simple thing for me. I didn't like the the connection with being simple. I didn't like the connection with with accepting defeat. And what I mean by accepting defeat is the defeat of, you know, I feel like, you know, I I couldn't make it here, so now I'm just gonna transfer into, you know, doing powerlifting. And I didn't want to, the moment I started to sign up for a meet or anything, to me, that felt like I was accepting my fate of not becoming, you know, a professional football player and, and, and things. And that's the main reason why it's it's the uh, the meaning behind it, you know. Um, that's the main reason why I didn't want to powerlift in the first place. I just wanted to create my content and still, you know, be considered as like a football athlete. I didn't want to be considered as a power powerlifter or anything like that. Um, but like I said, man, you know, Appreciate you guys for rocking with me um, in the journey. Um, you know, I, hell, I even thought about CrossFit because CrossFit honestly was the next thing um, as far as being an athlete, you know, because these guys run, they do conditioning, they lift weights. Um, there's a lot of things, you know, there's a few things in CrossFit that I'm not on agree with, but I think it's a fun sport. I think it's cool. Um, I would consider those guys athletes for sure, because uh, you definitely have to be an athlete for that. And um, yeah, you know, I've, I've thought heavily about that, but I do want to give, you know, a good amount of time to um, powerlifting. Um, so I'm definitely going to try that. But CrossFit is not out of the question. I'm just letting you guys know. Um, I want to be able to do enough before I'm too old. You know, once I started hitting 36, that's like I got these next six years is just about just, you know, maybe I give like three years to crawl, you know, to powerlifting or something and another three to CrossFit. Or maybe I should like switch it because I feel like CrossFit would be much harder the older I get versus, you know, lifting heavy weights, you know, get that muscle maturity and things. Um, but I'm just over here ranting and anything, you know, just kind of giving you guys ideas of the process of what I might be going through these next few years. Um, but mainly these next few years is about finding myself again um, and you know, getting this brand that I've been, you know, passionate about um, started and uh, just been researching, trying to get my life back together. So, uh, yeah, you know, that's the message for everybody. And uh, hope you guys are, you know, I, I don't know what else to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel as well. Those likes help videos rank better on the YouTube search. I get like, you know, 6,000, you know, views or whatever, and like, it'll be like 200 likes, so can we please bring that up? I hate, I hate asking people for stuff. I swear, I swear on everything, I hate asking people for stuff. 
but when it comes to me being able to touch and reach more people it's like I have to you know closed mouth don't get fed you know that's what I've always been told so I'm trying to be a little bit more vocal and stuff I'm not trying to sound whiny but you know you understand all right let me let's go work out <laughs> 